Right guys, so today we are in Hafer's gym of course. We're going to be training with Hafer, so we're going to be doing some low pressing today, some accessories, and then I think Hafer's going to do some uh, sandbag loads. It's going to be fun scene for back under a low press, and I cannot wait to uh, get the spice on. 80 kilogram giant dumbbell, or dance from picking up with one hand. So, no chop, nothing. Just, just, just pure, Whoa, pure hey, natural hey, hey. strength. Holy. Nice. Wow. Look, 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 try, try, try. <laughs> try, try, try. I swear a lot. <laughs> no chop, no. No, no chop, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Oh Jesus. <laughs> it's it's I don't get why he's scream so strong. I don't get it. Okay, Tom? Jeez. Like it's it's my fault, huh? That's insane. It's my fault. Whoa! Tom got it. There. Oh <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh easy. <laughs> Not easy. Come on, Luke. You got it. Yeah. 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 Come on, bro. Almost, almost, almost. Live with the Stockholm brothers. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? What's up? Great to have you guys. I'm ready. We're going to do some locking today. I'm working myself up to, I'm on, on a program obviously as usual, I'm working myself up to 125 kilograms for three, three reps, three sets. What are you guys going to go to? So uh, 120, yeah, 120. or 125, yeah. 125, yeah. 125. Right. Similarly, we're all on the same schedule. Sexy, sexy. <laughs> Okay, 80, 80 kg. Training trainers. Cardio, eh? Oh. Cardio. Three reps. <laughs> 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 Let's go. Nice. What's Luke's P PB? What's your max lock, Luke? Max. And, and training 228.5. 228. 228.5 and 221 um, kilos in competition. In competition. Well, yeah, in competition. Yeah. Graham Hicks was a British record holder. He did 220, yeah. and then I did one kilo more in the next. Oh, yeah, so yeah, just yeah, yeah. You know about that as well. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Kilogram, kilo, kilo, kilo. Yeah, kilo, kilo. kilo, kilo yeah. <laughs> What's the point breaking it by ten? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> Nice. 
two, three, two, one. Yeah, that's good. One, last one. Good job. <laughs> Four giants are there. Nah, I get the one to come to me. Nah, I get the one to come to me. Gives you a lot of momentum. <laughs> Throughout my career, I saw the guy say, So, how are you doing for like? Before a competition, you know, yeah, so just yeah. stuff. I would say, yeah, yeah. I'm great. Yeah, I'm great. <laughs> I'm great, feel great. I'm like, you like, know, I introduced all that thing. Yeah. And then it was just yeah. you know. <laughs> I was mentally <laughs> trying to destroy my point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because of that, a lot of people were just like, whoa. Thor seems to just navigate the picture, it seems to just be like this superhuman. Yeah, yeah. Go from competition, come to competition, I'd always say, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I did that for years. But crying inside. Crying inside. Yeah. Cry inside. <laughs> Cry inside. <laughs> I always like to compete, you know, one year I think I competed like 13 or 14 times to one year. Because like when you compete, it's almost like a training session or something, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get better with, with competing more. At least I felt that I would sort of like train myself into a proper shape, you know. Yeah, yeah. But then obviously as you get stronger, as you get better, mm. You sort of just want to choose also competitions mm. because it's also risky to mm. find the balance, you know, when to compete, when to not to compete. Because it's also like, it's, like as you know, it's risky to compete. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. get injured. Yeah, for sure. Jeez. You can't get injured. And then that's going It's tough. Yeah, it's tough, you know. Yeah. Just honest. What happened to the podcast you did in front of the show? I saw it, saw it get uploaded and then taken down from YouTube. So I'll tell you guys what, nothing happened. Brian texted me the day that we got the news of um, us receiving the news that Kelsey was, um, she lost the baby. And I basically just texted Brian, I didn't know that the podcast was up already. I texted him and said, <coughs> I told him about the news. I said that I would appreciate that we could delay the video since you see, I was gonna do some. I, would, I wasn't just like in my right mind. I was, I was, I was still just recovering. You know, I was nothing was recovering. I was just processing what was going on. So I just texted him and said, "Right now is not the best time for me to think about these things to post them, make some post on 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 Instagram stuff like that. But it's not in my right mind to do that right now. I need to be with my wife and and and, and just grieve at this time." Uh, and that's why the, 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 the posting was postponed, basically. Strong man. Who's that? What guy? One more! No more! No more! Two! Easy! Oh, one more! One more! One more! Ah! You're doing four of this. <laughs> Let's talk about what possibly events could be at the Arnold's. I think the Elephant Bar is the most likely going to be there. Actually. I think Elephant Bar, you think Axel? Yeah. You think Axel? Could be Axel, could be Locke, could be Dumbo, you know, they always they either have those three events or... So. Potentially Axel, because it was supposed to be a rogue invitational, right? True, so they might want to have yeah. that. That's, that's a good point, so they might want to have an Axel. But then again, who controls the events for the Arnolds? Is that, is that the rogue team or is that Jan and Steve? Like, I think it's going to be either... Dumbo, like a sheer Dumbo or Dan yeah, Dumbo, sure. uh, um, actual lock lift. I'm training all of those events. I think there's a high chance of frame, frame carry. High chance of frame carry. I think the Stone will be back. Uh, I Stone. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Maybe the Wheel of Pain. Maybe the Wheel of Pain. That's a, that's a, that's a, 
Even they said, I know they like, you know, well, I'm hoping that they announced the events this week. Yeah. They said that once <laughs> all the athletes have confirmed <laughs> that they're going to compete, they will announce the events. I'm always checking my email every morning, you know. It's up, it's up, it's up. <laughs> I was about six foot twenty. <laughs> Cutting that one. That's for sure. Too much cardio for me today. <laughs> do you want to do one more one first? Or just go straight into it? Yeah, there's a few pickers maybe and then just go for it. On this white line here, when he says go, you stop the time. And then the time stops when the second sandbag goes over. The second sandbags. Fast, very fast. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Too old, man. Of course she beat me. He's one world strongest man two times. He's just pulled him at rogue. I'm 40 years old next year. Of course she beat me. Like, you should be more excited than he beat. Power. <laughs> oh, I beat my big brother. <laughs> it's been awesome having the Stockman brothers here in Iceland training together. This would guys me longer. It's just a, I know, man. It's we're all busy. You guys have things to do. You know, it's Cushy's birthday as well. And uh, my birthday tomorrow, Cushy's birthday on Thursday. No, my birthday tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, Happy so early birthday to both you. of you guys. Thank you, bro. That's awesome. Thank that's awesome. You. And my birthday is actually on the 26th of November. Really? Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big Birthday's coming out. Ding, yeah. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, it's great. Very nice, guys. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace and love. What's up, you guys? So that's us just finished the uh, mini event session that we're big for. Uh, great session. Hit some log, dumbbells, some lap pull downs. Then we did a little uh, mini event uh, with the sandbags. Just awesome to see Big Half Floor back. He's looking big, he's looking strong. March, there's going to be a big, big earthquake coming to America. That's going to be cool. <laughs> we're about to do a grip session as well. So that's going to be the next video. So please be sure to watch that one. The last time we were over here, Big Tommy smashed the grip. So hopefully, but now there's a six foot 10 Goliath. That's in my way, so. Hmm. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. Ding a little ring.